All right, everyone. So here's the long-awaited video for the GPU performance of this bad boy, um, the Zephyrus S17 2020 model. So as you can see, I'm rocking the 2080 Super Max Q. I'm also running my optimal overclock, so you can already see how far the card will boost. It's running plus 140 on uh, GPU and plus 1000 on the mem. Um, the memory clock is really important on this one because somehow the 2080s come with um, slightly lesser memory clock than the 2070s. So you definitely want to be uh, overclocking your memory as much as you can. Mine will take about plus 1000. Um, about that, very slight artifacts. You can see the temperatures are good, 33 degrees um, Celsius, and we're ready to run. I have 3D Mark open, so we'll run that. And we'll also run um, Shadow Tomb Raider um, benchmark. So let's probably start with that, and we'll do both real time, like in the previous videos. Just a small overview of the laptop before we start. And really see how sleek and smooth it is. There's some lifted vents here, and on the other side, there's some air coming out of here. And I'm running, you can hear the fans, it's because I'm running um, the quickest and the fastest possible uh, manual profile here. But it's really not too bad. You can see it's about 50.6, 50.3 dBA, running 6,000 RPMs. So that will be the settings for. Right. So let's go first with 3D Mark. I'll run it to real time, just like the other videos, so that you can see everything happening as we go. Might take a few seconds to boot up. The fastest piece of uh, software. So we'll just make sure we're not running any demos. Demo is off. And there we go. So as you can see, a solid 50 plus FPS in the first test, going above 60 in some scenes. It's really good for a laptop, by the way. The previous 2019 model with the 2017 Max P, that's a 115 watt card, couldn't do that. This is the second test. Time Spy Graphics test two. That was really still quite cool to the touch. Of course, it's the first run. It's literally just getting a little bit warm on the Asus logo. Otherwise, still quite cool here. Quite cool there. The GPU sits here underneath on the left side, I believe. The CPU sits over there. So we're going into the second test. Running between 40 and 50 and maybe into 60 FPS. 
17. But of course the score at the end of the run will give us the full picture. It's actually really, really smooth on the laptop screen, running 300 hertz. Um, but I'm filming with 30 FPS, 4K, just to conserve some uh, bandwidth and space. Um, and even at 60 FPS filming, you would not see the the full quality of the screen. So, unfortunately, you'll have to watch this in 30 FPS for now. This is the CPU test, and actually the in this 2020 model it's doing really really well compared to 2019. Plus it's an 8 core, 10875 uh, i7. So there you go. This is the score. We've gotten almost 10k on the graphics. With almost 10k overall score, with the CPU score being just above 10k, running 34 to 72 FPS. Let's look at the thermals. Really quite good. Didn't even hit above 58 Celsius on the GPU. Four clocks between 15 and 16, sometimes boosting into 1700, and then so on the CPU. The maximum temps we saw was on the CPU test going into 7882 on some cores. So, really good performance. Okay, so let's run the second test. Shout out to Mater. You can see the options. Graphics, it's the highest present. I'm not customizing anything further, so you can just run this test yourself and compare the performance. Alright, there we go. Options. It's fine graphics. Just double checking everything is set. 300 Hz. Suppose a full screen running for best performance. Run benchmark. Immediately you can see running above 100 FPS, well into 120s. It's really astonishing hey! performance. Warming up a little bit. So cool on this side. Cool on that side. CPU and GPU is just slightly warm to touch. So this is the second test. Solid 100 plus FPS.
Now it's going into the last test. Running almost 200 FPS here. It's really crazy performance for a laptop. Of course, the overall score will tell the final picture, but you can already see that the performance is there. Slightly warm in this area. Quite cool to the touch everywhere else. I think it's never getting below 100 in the third test. Okay, let's look at that final score, oh, it's pretty solid, 118 FPS average. Minimum uh, in the CPU game 105, max 200, average 142. 95% interval 110 and then on the GPU 96 is the minimum 201 is max 121 average and yeah 99 FPS in the 95% interval so that's really really good so this laptop is just beating all the machines out there I think maybe except for the full uh, 2080 Super Max P which is a 150 watt variant but I mean, look how thin this is it's really really thin so I would say that this performance is really highly recommended and I would definitely go for this uh, machine if you're doubting uh, whether to get it or get something else Alright, thanks for watching.